Well, coach, 2 nothing lead to kick this game off on a back-to-back. -back. How much do you like taking charge and taking you know, control in a start like that? Well, I think it's important. I mean, the first goal is the biggest goal for me. I just think that, you know, we wanted to make sure that we were energized coming out tonight. Even though it's a back-to-back -back for us, it's their first game back off a road trip. We know how difficult that can be. Um, I thought it was evenly played first period, but we capitalized on a couple of our chances. And, you know, J.J. made some big saves in net for us to keep the lead and kind of sets the tone for the rest of the game. You know, we were able to keep... Even though they made it close, we were able to keep taking advantage and, and getting the lead and ho hopefully at some point forcing them in to take a few more chances where we could capitalize and not exactly how the game went, but we liked the, we liked the effort again tonight and the commitment to defend, so it was a good all-around game from our group. Lars Eller's goal ends up being the game winner. Is that one of the weirder goals that you've seen happen in this league? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean... It just like no whistle and like I think everyone kind of stopped playing for a second, everyone except Lars. So. What does that just say about his, I guess, presence? And... Just, I mean, well, he's a smart player, right? Like, I mean, he didn't hear a whistle, so he just kind of hung around there for a split second and there was a puck available. So, uh, but he's a, he's a wily veteran guy, you know, in a lot of ways. So, uh, but it was nice to see him sort of bang that one home. It was a big moment in the game. Evan Rodriguez playing with the top line now in Archery. I thought he was highly competitive tonight. Yeah, I liked his game a lot tonight. Like he was digging in in the wall battles and puck battles, and you know, playing with two guys. Obviously, Miko and Mac with a lot of skill. He has the ability to complement those guys. He had a good night. Were you surprised they called a penalty on Nate there at the end when it looked like Kachuk was kind of roughing up foul? And he... Yeah, I mean, I didn't. I mean, I think a couple penalties at the end are. You know, I I could have left him. You know what I mean? But whatever. That's how they saw him. It's their decision. We have to be able to kill off a penalty or two. And you know, they have some obviously have some dangerous shooters on the power play. They got a lot of guys that can hammer the puck, and they did that tonight, and they got rewarded for it. Jojo getting this start. This is the first one for him in quite a while. Making a save like that at the end. Erod said that he made the saves that he needed to. How important was that though for this group and giving Georgie the night off? Uh, well, I, pretty important. I mean, he's been playing a lot of hockey. Obviously, we still got one more to go on this road trip. We picked the day here where he didn't have to do anything today. You know, he's got tomorrow off, and then it's an afternoon game, so he's still fresh, but he'll be nice and rested to go in in, in Detroit. And I thought, you know, uh, you know, J.J. was good right from the start. I thought he was really good. He looked sharp, and, I mean, he made some big saves, and a lot of them he made look easy. Um, the goals that they got, I felt like they earned them. Like we had some breakdowns and they got some seam passes, and again, they got some dangerous shooters. So I felt like they earned all those. I thought uh, JJ was really good, looked quick tonight. I think you said you would have more of a sense of Arturi's timeline after his surgery. Do you know how the surgery went and just kind of how it's Yeah, it went good. Yep, yeah, went good, and it'll be four to six. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's important. I think we talked a lot about it recently. The commitment and determination in our game has to go up, you know, and I, and I feel like it did for a big stretch here, and we climbed back up in the standings. We had another little dip, which isn't uncommon, but now for the last four games, we've been highly committed, and that determination has been there, and it's the, the checking game and putting a high importance on that every night has really led to what, you know, with us getting two points. It seemed like the fourth line generated good chances, also was on the ice for a few goals. Just what did you make of their play? Yeah, well, not good enough on the defensive side of it. Yet we expect all of our lines to be able to generate, but as a group uh, tonight, they were on for two against, and it's not good enough.